Hey guys, Piker here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, in today's episode, we're going to uh, fly a command pod or command module up to our space station, and we're going to dock it and then uh, set it up so it's nice and nice and floaty around the orbit of Kerbin. Um, I already built one, but I'm going to go ahead and take it into the AV VAB and uh, describe kind of like what I put what I put on it, um, and then we're going to go through the whole process of rendezvousing with a already in-orbit ship, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but um, it's a very useful skill to have, or a very useful thing to know how to do. Um, just It just makes everything so much easier. So let's see here. Where is it? That's not it. There it is. I was like, I know I saved it. I don't know where it went. So, yeah. So we're going to load this up. We're going to get it out on the launch pad and then go from there. Um, and then after this guy, what we'll probably end up doing is uh, uh, building a refueler to put on there as well. So what I've done is I've made I've taken a single seater command pod, flipped it upside down, put a crew um, module on here, and two more solar panels, two communication or communitron antennae, and a, uh, another little antenna right here. And then I put all our scientific nodes or scientific instruments on the outside, just uh, so it holds more than you know. It's it's got a little bit more pur purchase pur purpose. Pur 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 pur. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to only have one guy flying in this three-seater command pod because he's just he's basically just towing this thing up into orbit to connect with the space station. And Joffsky, I believe, is up in our space station, and we're going to have him EVA and load into the command pod. But um, this is it's not it doesn't have too many stages on it. Um, this is going to be our main stage to actually rendezvous with the space station. And then obviously we have our liftoff station, or uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The hell word am I? Wow, brain fart so bad right now. Stage. Yeah, stages. Wow. Don't mind me, anyone. I just can't think today for some reason. So these are going to be our liftoff stages. Uh, first we have our solid rocket boosters running with our main sail three mainsail rockets, and then we're going to disconnect our solid rockets, use the mainsails to get up as far as we can, disconnect them, and then use this stage in the middle here to get us all the way into orbit. And then we'll adjust from there. And actually what I think I'm going to do, because I did a dry run of this, and what I am going to do is I'm going to add a RCS fuel tank onto here and four more RCS through but RCS thrusters because uh, the last attempt I made I actually ran out of RCS fuel so it was I actually had to dock I had to use the RCS fuel on the space station itself and dock with the uh, with the uh, command pod for the space station so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add RCS fuel and we're gonna add four more RCS thrusters just to give us more of a I've noticed that if you're uh, Let's see if these line up. Yeah. Um, when you put RCS thrusters on and there's a long module, I guess like so from the engine here all the way to the top, if you only have RCS thrusters on one side, it's really, really, really difficult to move side to side but and not spin. And like sometimes you need to just move laterally to uh, or laterally or horizontally in a straight line so you can just line up the docking ports and I actually ended up being a lot more difficult of a docking than I needed it to be. So now we're just making those little adjustments. And we should be good to go. Um, we need to adjust our things here. We're going to take Bill out. And we're going to put, let's put Kurt in the MK1 command pod. Mark 1, 2 command pod. And he'll be our flight commander today and hopefully we'll take him up drop off this uh command pod for the space station and bring him home safely
So, I uh, will see you guys on the launch pad. Alright guys, we're on the launch pad and we're going to turn on our SAS. We're going to take a look at actually where our space station is in orbit. Which is on the complete other side of the planet, which is not ideal. Um, we want to make this easiest rendezvous we could possibly make it. So, we're going to actually wait, probably, and line up the uh, space station so it'll be in front of us, but not that far in front of us. Um, so we're going to time warp here and get the space station up in, uh, up into a reasonable area for us to catch up with it, which is, hmm, that looks about right. I, I usually, the, what I usually run with is like one, one o'clock and three o'clock. So if you're looking at it sideways, say I'm at three o'clock right now, we want this to be at about one o'clock. So, you know, it's roughly where it needs to be, which is fine. I mean, honestly, I don't. I haven't rendezvoused enough stuff to really have a general plan. I mean, I can get stuff to line up and whatnot, but I usually end up using a lot of fuel to do it. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and launch our ship. So we are throttled up. We have Everything looks copacetic. Let's see. Yep. 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 Everything looks good. Alright, so we're going to launch this guy in 3, 2, 1... Whoa, whoa, wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. I don't like that. I can stop doing that now. It is wobbling pretty hardcore right now. I don't know why it's doing that. It should be okay. I hope. Yeah, it should be alright. So we're going to wait until our solid rocket boosters run out of fuel, disconnect them, and then throttle up to get our thrust up, I guess, would be the easiest way to explain it. Because um, we want to be gaining as much speed and altitude as possible without wasting fuel. And disconnect. Throttle up a little bit so we don't lose any ground. This is looking pretty good so far. Now hopefully, I might have done this too soon, but I think we should be able to rendezvous pretty easily. Um, hopefully anyways. Kurt, stop looking scared out of your mind. This is the easy part, man. Maybe. I mean, it depends, really. But I've tested this rocket already, Kurt. We're good, alright? We're good. So, anyways, uh, next episode we'll probably be doing a unmanned refuel station um, that we can that, that has a couple canisters of fuel that we can take up to the space station and dock and let it just sit there so that if there's any other ships that we need to get fuel to that we know that we're not going to have enough fuel to get to where we're going we can fly up to the space station, dock transfer fuel and uh, go from there which I have done before so it's definitely not a bad, bad idea. That's always the scariest part. It's hoping that those those things don't wreck into me. I also put lights on this one too. Just so uh, whenever we do dock, actually see what's going on here. And we missed our gravity turn pretty bad. That's kind of funny. We'll be alright. We'll just kick over a ways. Instead of 10 degrees, we'll do like 50. Or not 50. Yeah, like 45. Hopefully that'll fix it. Or it won't. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. It'll be alright. I'd have rather gain altitude. I mean, that's not a big deal. I would have rather have done that than done something else stupid. So. So we're going to get a refueling station up in the next episode, and then the episode after that we're going to attempt to make it to the moon with a lander and a crew, and then uh, we'll see how many episodes that takes, but we're going to be getting to the moon here shortly, hopefully anyways, and then after that we'll probably send a rover to uh, Minimus, and then maybe send a rover to Duna and to Eve, 
just to kind of get an idea of how the gravity is, or, you know, like how the gravity is, how the, how the surface of the planets are, and uh, actually really to practice getting um, a ship within orbit of a planet, because I tried it previously, and, like, you can't, you can't get into a planet's peri... You can't get a periapsis around a planet that's far away very easily. Because it's very, very... It, you have to make micro-adjustments to get within a million meters of, of a planet when you're flying, you know, out, out that far. So, it's it's difficult. I know that much. Because um, I've had trouble with the uh, with just rovers trying to get them to, to really far away planets. So, anyways, we're going to get this uh, space station core into orbit, hopefully, and uh, go from there. Sorry, there's not really too much to talk about with this. Um, we're still waiting for Jebediah to be reincarnated. Unfortunately, we lost him in a previous episode. Um, but in his honor, we named the, we named the space station Jebediah Space Station. Um, so, yeah... That's, I think that's a moon around Duna. Could be wrong, but <clears throat> I'm almost positive it is. So, we're past our apoapsis. That's not good. Throttle up. Why is this taking so long? So it shouldn't. Good news is we're getting our apoapsis to uh, get back in front of us. <clears throat> and as soon as we lose this this stage, we should have we should lose quite a bit of weight. So the re remaining stage that I have, we should be able to use to get into orbit and to adjust to uh, meet with the sp space station or rendezvous with the space station. Okay, lost that guy. Hopefully this will get us into orbit. Our apple apps is at. It's only at 58. What's going on here? Why is that taking so long? Hmm. We might end up having to relaunch this mission, guys. That's okay, though, because we can just refer the flight to the launch pad and try again. I think I might do uh, like a permadeath series like uh like there is no revert flight there is no quick saves there is no you know like i can't i can't adjust my stupidity basically is the uh what i was thinking about doing because uh i do that a lot actually in this game and i think it'd be interesting to to only get one shot at certain things and then like you kind of have to work your way out of a situation if you get into a into a bind which I think would be kind of cool, um, but we'll we'll wait on that until we. Uh, where's the space station? We're gonna set this as our target. Wait till we get our apoapsis point prograde, and hopefully, we used a lot of our main, our last stage of fuel to to get this far. So we might end up screwing ourselves, which is a problem. But we'll we'll just revert the flight uh, if that if that's the case, and I'll uh, try again. So we're in orbit, and we used a lot of fuel for it. <clears throat> um, so what we might end up doing, instead of reverting the flight, we might end up just leaving this whole thing connected when we uh, dock. And then when we fly our refueling station up, we'll refuel this and then take anybody that we need to down, which I actually do as a big favor um, if we do a manned flight to refuel station um i want to do a manned flight 
I was saying an unmanned flight, but I, I think a, a manned flight would manned flight would be a little bit easier, mainly because I don't have to have uh, lots of battery packs on it to make sure that the ship doesn't die out in the uh, orbit, which would be a plus. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to adjust the nodes so we're on the same pitch as the space station. But what you want is you want to say 00, zero or NAN which I have no idea what that stands for, but I know that NAN is the, the, the what you want it to say. Um, now, if you're at 0, 0.0, that's fine, but it's, uh, it's even, it, NAN is basically like the, uh, there is no difference in pitch, like you are dead on at the same pitch as uh, whatever your target is, which is a good thing. But 0.0, .0 is close, pretty close. It's got to be within a, a kilometer of uh, you, uh, of the, you know, of your target. So 0, 0.0 or NAN. NAN is what you want to shoot for. But if you get 0, 0.0, it's not a huge deal. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually see if we can meet up with this thing sooner than later. And it doesn't really look 42. I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to leave the the uh, orbits as close as possible. So if we miss, we'll still be roughly in the same area. So I don't know if this is gonna help. No, it doesn't really seem to be. Let's do this. No, I don't want to exit. Oh, ah, you bastard. Um, t -t 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 -t. There's our meeting points. See, I want to keep the orbit inside as far as, as much as possible. Which is actually, looks like it's going to work to our benefit here. Oh, too far away now. What are we looking at here? I want it to be at least 1.1k away because I can deal with a kilometer. That's not that big of a deal. But my question is, is why isn't that closer? Because it should be. Hmm. 2.6 Five, three point five, two point nine. This is the hard part. I think two point five might be the closest we're gonna get. Yeah. Okay, maybe this will help. Yep, it does. One point eight. We just passed our maneuver again. So we're going to set it out a bit further. Because I'm an idiot and I keep screwing that up. Mm. This has got to be the hardest part. One point two Ks, I can deal with that. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to point. 
at our target. Let's turn on RCS. Make this a little bit easier. Stay, 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 stop moving. There we go. What's our velocity of our space station? It's 1981 meters per second. So 1,981 meters per second is what our space station is moving at. So we want to be in that general speed range as well, hopefully, in the orbit. And right now we're over, we're, we're slowing down, so that's a good thing. Um, and our estimated burn is 14 seconds, so we're going to speed up a little bit to about 30, and then start our burn. Let's see how close we can get here. meters per second. Let's drop a little bit. And getting ready to cut our engines. We had our target a little bit more. Alright. That's pretty close. So we're going to get rid of this. See where we're at. 15 kilometers away. All right, so let's see what this does. Okay, that's increasing it. So we need to go the opposite of where we were, which is yay, right about there, roughly. Oh, that ain't doing it. So let's try it on the other side of the globe. Maybe that'll help. It smaller. Uh, just got a little bit bigger. All right, so we're at 2.9 k away. Let's see if we can add maneuver and make that a little bit closer. Alright, so we're 1.2k away. We're gonna get ready for our maneuver, which is not, it doesn't have an estimated burn, so it's probably only a couple second burn. But we need to find that node. Oh, I see it. Start a burn. All right, where are we at here? Fix that. One point two k. All right, we can deal with that. So now it's just a waiting game of getting back, and then once we get to it, I haven't really worked out a great method of holy crap we're almost out of fuel um i haven't really worked out a great method of actually like coming into the same speed as the space station and uh ending up not having to fly around it for five minutes because that's pretty much what 
what I end up doing. I can never get a absolutely perfect uh, rendezvous point. I don't know why I just can't seem to get one that's you know within reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we get closer to our space station. Hopefully we are slowing down, that's good. So hopefully we'll slow down to roughly the same speed, which is good. We're 200 meters per second difference of our, there's our space station right there. It's 23K away. And we're supposed to be within 1.2 before we start moving away from it again. So probably at about 1.5, we'll start actually just burning towards the thing, which uh, works sometimes. <laughs> what we actually need to be doing is we need to burn the opposite direction of the slower rate down a lot more. Now we should be able to adjust from here, hopefully. We're moving at 1.4. We should be getting closer to it. And if we aren't, we'll fix that. We're going to actually speed up a little bit here. This is the hardest part, in my opinion. One point four away, we're gonna speed up to about five meters per second. We're gonna fast forward and see if we get closer, which we are. We're one point three, one point two. Alright. That's what we want. So once we get pretty close, we're gonna actually start slowing down to almost not moving at all. So we're at the same speed as it, and then we could adjust from there. So we're actually gonna start doing that right now. Because we want to connect. Where do we want to connect at? I can't remember which way we want to connect. But we want to do this. And we want to start slowing down. To about one meter per second or two meters per second. Just so it's at a manageable speed so we don't screw ourselves. Yeah, we want to connect on the solar panel side. <clears throat> so, we're going to see if we can set... Yep, that's what we want. We want to set the docking port as the target so we can adjust accordingly. I'm going to spin so that these controls do what I want them to. Spin. There we go. Alright. That's the way we want our thing to be. So we're going to do this. And then we're going to aim a little bit better here. Adjust. I don't want to run into those solar panels. So we're going to actually back off here. slower of a speed. We're going to adjust our prograde. Slow down some more. All right, so we want to move, not that way, this way. We're going to spin. And just so you guys know, we are out of fuel, out of regular fuel anyways, in case anybody was wondering.
space station. Let me actually do this some more. So when we come into contact, we'll be right where we need to be. Now I'm getting all confused on the controls, which is not good. All right, I'm super confused right now because the controls aren't doing what I want them to. Jeez. Remember this being a lot easier for some reason. Come on. Just connect. Jesus. that stop that from tumbling Thank you. Jeez. Oh, man. That was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. All right. So we're successfully connected to our space station. That's a pretty cool site. Ooh, that's even cooler. Let's take a screenshot of that. All right. Well, that was a pain in the ass. So let's get our space station set up here. Toggle that, we'll toggle this, put our, extend our panels. It's not going to be symmetrical at all, but hey, what are you going to do? It's a space station, what do you want? So, I mean, I really, really, really would like to, we might be able to do it. Let's, we'll try it, we'll try it. So we'll, we'll put these back in real quick. I want this to look at least a little bit symmetrical. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually undock and then back off a little bit and then uh, spin the whole command, cent or command pod to 
either make an X or line up perfectly, which I would rather, I wouldn't mind it lining up with all the doors lining up. I think that would be ideal. So what we're going to do is we're going to undock, not fly that one, fly this one. We're going to back off a little bit. Spin. Stop. And then you have to get a certain distance away from the, from the uh, docking ports before they reset. Otherwise, it never thinks you undocked. So hopefully that's far enough away. I don't really know how far away you need to be before it resets. I guess we'll find out. There we go. All right. That should be a little bit more symmetrical. So let's extend these solar panels. Probably going to put solar panel. Uh, those are probably going to be the last solar panels because we probably don't need many more. Um, reason being is that we'll have four solar panels and we have, I, I mean, I just want the solar panels to be able to keep charge enough to keep all the lights lit on this thing because I think that would just be the best way to do it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to point the, let's point the command module to point it sideways. How does that sound? So we'll point it prograde. And good God, that thing is wobbling and I don't like it at all. It's kind of scaring me a little bit. So in our next episode, we're going to fly up a fuel, a refueler that we can also dock to this, which we're probably going to end up docking it on one of these side panels over here. Uh, either the up, uh, the, you know, one of the sides, but not the end, because I, I want to keep the end open as a uh, just in case kind of a docking port because I think that would be the easiest docking port to uh, connect to. So we're going to keep those, that one open and we'll probably design our refuel station or a refuel pod to uh, probably design it to fit nicely around the uh, space station. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. There we go. All right. Well, guys, that's uh, it for this episode. Um, next episode, we're going to take Kurt. We're going to refuel our pod that's attached to our command module at the moment. And we're going to... Actually, you know what we'll do? Before we end this episode, we're going to EVA Jofsky. We're going to have him get into the actual command pod. Luckily, we don't have to go far. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, Joski. All right, climb up this ladder. We're gonna board the command pod. So now we have Joski in our main command pod, and we'll, it'll be a cool little sight as soon as we refuel this thing uh, get it into orbit. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take our mono, our prop fuel here, and we're going to make sure that all of our CS tanks are full before we do anything else. Because I know I'll forget about that. And I want to make sure that the space station has enough RCS fuel at all times in case we need to reorient it to make docking easier or, you know, any, any kind of thing like that I think would... Uh, be a good idea to have so we're gonna fill up the rcs fuel tanks here before we do before we end this episode so all right so all of our rcs fuel tanks are full on the space station uh next episode we're gonna be getting a refueler station back up up to the space station and we're gonna refuel our lander pod right here and we're gonna get uh jo or kurt back to the surface safely so, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.